I'm Dr. Andrea Rapkin, Professor of Obstetrics and Gynecology at UCLA. And I'm Kana Kassard, Licensed Marriage and Family Therapist and Sex Therapist based out of Los Angeles, California. Today we're going to start a conversation on mind-body treatments for vulvodynia. I'm going to present some of the rationale or importance for why we would include mind-body approaches in the treatment of vulvodynia, and Kane is going, to, is going to go into some more detail about how this is done. So what is vulvodynia? Vulvodynia is chronic pain, meaning pain of more than three months duration, occurring in the tissues in the surrounding the vagina or in the opening of the vagina. It affects up to 15% of women, and it's a very common condition. We make the diagnosis initially by taking history and then performing a very detailed physical examination to rule out other causes of, of pain, such as infection, hormone deficiency, skin conditions, and specific nerve injuries. Once we've ruled out those conditions, we come to the diagnosis of vulvodynia. And with the diagnosis of vulvodynia, we then define the pain as localized, generalized, or what causes the pain, whether it's spontaneous or whether it occurs only with contact. The most common form of vulvodynia is actually called vestibulodynia, meaning pain in these tissues at the entrance of the vagina, and it's also called provoked vestibulodynia, PVD, formerly called vulvar vestibulitis. Now this condition is the most common cause of pain with sex in reproductive age women.